And now they just completely flipped the script, the script around. Cause yeah, Bayo could put lots of damage on and make it very, very difficult for Rob to land. Here's the thing though, Rob could just kill you at 30. So Bayo has to chill yeah. at the ledge. You know what's like even more ironic? Like that Rob can actually activate Bats Within and then still hit Bayonetta after. What a world. <laughs> if you got an option that beats bat Bats Within, you're living good. <laughs> the only thing that's really a pain for Rob in this matchup is just landing. But as long as, you know, like, Frog understands, pays attention to where the nares are going to be, you already see the first parry right there, and just, like, catches Gabriel being a little bit too aggressive on landing, it's going to be really hard for Gabe to touch the ground. Yeah, you can see, like, Frog... Uh, not really sure what, what game Frog is playing, but it's working. He's just continuing to let tra or trap Gabe over and over and over. We see the down tilt come in for Epic Gabriel, but unfortunately he's just with the grab. That's really the setup he needed to get mm -hmm. the momentum going in his favor. But an oh, great smash call right to get the ABK. That, that's the tried and true, right? Like, every Bayo at some point is going to ABK from the ledge, especially... Ooh, that was almost such a good call on the air dodge with the up smash. But, like, Gabriel's so good at dealing with matchups that could be kind of annoying, right? Because he understands, look, I got the KO power. I'm going to be fine. And there's a good answer right there. Up smash out of shield. We'll take the first stock. Mm -hmm. That's true. And, of course, you can see Frog already on the hunt. But Epic Gabriel taking his time to come back to stage. I like, I like the safe pressure that Frog's doing right now. Just kind of jump out there with the forward airs. Just kind of not overcommit. You don't want to give yourself offstage positioning when you have Gabriel, who's willing to go offstage to take a trade. But there you go. Uh, the Witch Time. I almost forgot what it was called for a second. I don't see his character <laughs> anymore. Witch Time coming through. Get him to out smash. And Frog's still looking good here. Okay, there's that heel slide. And just like that, you know, we see a role reversal where uh, we had Frog sitting center stage with stage control and all of a sudden now it's in the hands of epic gabriel yeah gabriel's doing exactly what you need to do in this matchup it's not about attacking bayonetta where she is it's about attacking where she's going to be you need to understand where they want to move because they're always on the move because they're mo they, they just have great options to do so so as long as you have attack anticipation and good reads oh, like that that's what <laughs> gabriel's gonna <laughs> just <laughs> run with the set that's true that's true here we go, more ABKs on the shields. Oh, there it is, the witch time! Ooh, and just enough, we don't even... Like, Frog didn't even wait for... for, for Frog didn't even need witch time to, to the, the entire duration. He actually let witch time end and then still hit Epic Gabriel with the forward smash. That's that big body friend, you ain't getting out of this. And I like Frog's patience now. Frog went from kind of just consistently going in after Gabriel. Now, not only did he wait for her to do something on the platform, stood directly in front of him, waiting for him to swing on the landing to get the grab. Although he's currently behind in percent, you can see Frog is adjusting pretty well here uh, to what Gabriel wants to do. And that time being aggressive, catching the downer and keeping the combo going. That's true. And speaking of combos going, Frog's combos were just kept going and going and going. But here we go. Epic Gabriel with the down throw. ABK to avoid the laser. And oh, Frog is playing so evasive. I like I, Frog's option choices are, are just so amazing to me because you'll see him like ABK above Epic Gabriel and then pull back to land in front of Epic Gabriel with a nair. Which typically, yeah, that, you know, a normal player would land behind your opponent. Yeah, exactly. And now we're getting to the point where, oh, never mind. Game one is done. I was about to compliment Gabe on the fact that Gabriel started to actually slow down a bit. The same thing that Frog was doing. It's like, look, I'm going to wait for you to act first. And then you get a lot of end lag on your landings if you do too many special moves. I'm just going to just punish you there. But afterwards, Frog just had the timing, understood when Gabriel wanted to swing on landings because it's mm -hmm. so hard for Rob to land mm -hmm. in general. They got to swing with that Nair and punished it a few times for those stocks. Good job for game one for Frog there. Yeah, and that's really calling out the habits of Epic Gabriel. Because you know Epic Gabriel loves to just uh, throw out those nares. I mean, most Robs do, right? Like I was going to say, like, that, that's like a Rob trait in general, right? Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. hey, look, I'm landing. There's a big green button on my controller. I'm going to press it, and I'm going to land, and I'm going to be safe. Perfectly that's safe the truth. to do as well. So, yeah, just really beating out the, I guess, the, the mentality that the Robs have and abusing it to his, to his own advantage. Yeah, I, I think in, if 
Epic Gamer wants to get the W here in game two, he has to replicate that success he had of what is see right there. He's waiting for Frog to be done moving, doing stuff, and then punishing. That's your biggest opening as Rob in this matchup. Because otherwise, if you try to box with Bayo on air to airs, you're going to get hit a lot. And you're going to take, like, right there. He tried to get out of the corner by jumping and swinging, and he ends up taking not only a big damage, but a frame trap. Unfortunately, came to an end a little bit early for Frog. Yeah, Epic Gabriel was able to escape with really, you know, escaping with about half damage that it could have been. But just like that, Frog, you know, 86% Epic Gabriel throwing out those up smashes, making Frog a little bit more nervous about rolling on these platforms. Especially with the big up smash that uh, Epic Gabriel has access to. I would, that would have been so good for Frog if Frog was able to get that edge guard off stage dropping down. There you go, though, gets the oh, forehead yeah. that should close out, and that's the first stock going to Frog. Wow, you know, and that's, that's actually like the... The Bayonetta combo that everyone was saying, like, hey, you need to be watching out for Bayonetta. She's still got stuff. She's still mm -hmm. got her, her new kill confirm is forward air, and Frog really showing it. Yeah, and you can see right there, too, the fact that Gabriel decided to look for a mix-up for an air dodge for an smash. He understands, like, look, I can't be dropping my potential KO options to oh, a bats oh. within. Woo, getting Ooh, okay. consistently pressured here, too. This is actually starting to look really good because Bayo with the lead can actually afford to go for some of these reckless trades, and mm -hmm. Gabriel has to just, ex like, respect it. Okay, mashing just... Oh, Epic Gabriel throwing the up air a little bit too early, but still getting the last hit, and that's the hit that matters. But up... Tilt, up tilt into up B. Here we just continue to witch twist over and over and over. Frogs putting out so many multi hits, making it so difficult. But okay, Epic Gabriel up, utilizing the up B, escaping, but still has not touched the ground. And look at Frog's damage. Oh, oh and the I risk, the risk it. reward. <laughs> The, I was just about to say the risk reward is so good for Frog right now because Frog is using ABKs on Nairs where if he takes the trade, worst that happens, you go to center stage. Right there, if you do that down air, the worst that happens is that Gabriel gets to follow you off stage a bit. Maybe he looks for a down air, but you're probably going to live. You're still plenty low percent. So mm -hmm. Frog really understanding risk reward and it is working so well, especially when you're up a stock. Not only are you low percent, but you still have an extra stock to play with in case, you know, you need that little bit of extra insurance, you know, invest in Bayonetta. Okay, here we go. Here's the up throw. We're going to chase. No, he actually expects to, an ABK and Epic Gabriel uh, getting tossed for a loop a little bit. Yeah, this is where problems start to settle in. Gabriel was doing so good before at dealing with attack anticipation and reading where Frog was going to go. It ain't working anymore. And once that mm -hmm. stops happening, that gets really bad. You have to find those punishes with the grabs. The, pretty much the only way Rob wins in this matchup is getting a lot of grabs. And, and, and that that's it. <laughs> Otherwise, you can't really pressure her like this. Look at these landing coverage. Frog probably going for something at the ledge, looking for a get-up oh. option with that smash, of course, but he doesn't get it. Okay, try to get the, the jab one, two, to maybe even get like a little bit of a, a jab reset. But here we go. Here's the down throw. What's the match look like? Gets caught. And Epic Gabriel evening up the stocks. Now, yeah, that's what here's... Frog has been going for because you can see like in these close scenarios, he's actually been jumping, like short hopping, and then immediately ABK and just to try and get uh, a little bit close the distance between himself and Epic Gabriel. But Epic Gabriel is starting to throw out a little bit more gyro, boxing him, and then say... retreating. I was about to say, I have a chart of characters that I uh, like at last stock are some of the most fearful things to fight in this game. Even though Frog has KO percent and everything right now going for him, if you push too hard running after a Rob, they will cheat. They will catch you with a side beat and get an early KO. Oh, oh they're gonna cheat him! He was cheating! He but... buffered the roll and he got through! And he's gonna look for a high recovery, tries to catch him with a gyro, the up smash does not get hit though, and then he tries to catch him with a spot dodge read for the forward smash, but he does not get hit, and then the down smash connects and Frog is now in a position where he could possibly lose this game. So many, so much spaghetti from both players, both either whiffing and then getting the whiff punished, and then whiffing and then getting another whiff punished. <gasps> but another down air right in front of Epic Gabriel, and that, that's all it took. My Dumb goodness, and a little too early. And if you look back just seconds before that, not that long before that, Gabriel almost hit the back air that wouldn't have KO'd, but it would have put Bayo so close to the blast zone that it would have let him run up, set up an edge guard find maybe a gyro hit that could have taken the game away from frog but because that didn't happen frog was able to uh, consider you know what i'm just gonna go for this down air right here if it trades i'm probably going to win that was a 